Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 worst towns to live in Illinois. Illinois. America's heartland. The land of Lincoln. Green summers, cold winters. Farmers and gangsters. And everything in between. It's not a flyover state. In fact, when you consider Chicago is possibly the best city in America, Illinois can make a case that it's the most important state in the entire Midwest. Where you've got cornfields, cornhole, and some of the hardest working, down to earth people in the country. But is it all roses in Illinois? Of course not. Just like every other state, Illinois has its issues. The sore spots, if you will. The purpose of this post is to use science and data to determine which Illinois cities need a little tender loving care. After analyzing 325 of the Prairie State's most populous cities, we came up with this list as the 10 places that could use a hug right about now. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 worst towns to live in Illinois. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 worst towns to live in Illinois. Number 10. Harvard. Population, 9,482. Median home value, $138,200. Unemployment rate, 7.6%. Harvard is a somewhat small city located in the state of Illinois. In Harvard, just 11.75% of people have at least a bachelor's degree, which is quite a bit lower than the national average for cities and towns of 21.84%. With a crime rate for both violent and property crime combined of 7 per 1,000 residents, the crime rate in Harvard is higher than in 62.6% .6 U.S. cities. Your chance of being a victim of crime in Harvard may be as high as 1 in 23 in the West neighborhoods. Number 9. Centralia. Population, 12,061. Median home value, $75,600. Unemployment rate, 12.8%. With a crime rate of 48 per 1,000 residents, Centralia has one of the highest crime rates in America compared to all communities of all sizes, from the smallest towns to the very largest cities. One's chance of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime here is 1 in 21. Within Illinois, more than 98% of the communities have a lower crime rate than Centralia. With a population of 12,061, Centralia has a combined rate of violent and property crime that is very high compared to other places of similar population size. Regardless of whether Centralia does well or poorly compared to all other cities and towns in the U.S. of all sizes, compared to places with a similar population, it fares badly. Few other communities of this size have a crime rate as high as Centralia. Number 8. Blue Island. Population, 22,934. Median home value, $136,900. Unemployment rate, 12.2%. Blue Island is a medium-sized city located in the state of Illinois. In Blue Island, however, the average commute to work is quite long. On average, people spend 31.70 minutes each day getting to work, which is significantly higher than the national average. The crime rate in Blue Island is considerably higher than the national average across all communities in America from the largest to the smallest, although at 17 crimes per 1,000 residents, it is not among the communities with the very highest crime rate. The chance of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime in Blue Island is 1 in 59. Based on FBI crime data, Blue Island is not one of the safest communities in America. Relative to Illinois, Blue Island has a crime rate that is higher than 83% of the state's cities and towns of all sizes. Number 7. East St. Louis. Population, 19,437. Median home value, $57,800. Unemployment rate, 12.8%. East St. Louis is clearly on this list. It's a St. Louis suburb. You've heard of it if you live in Illinois. It was once 83,000 people. Now, it's a third that size. And dropping by the month. This is the 324th poorest place in the state, and the third most violent, though it had the highest murder rate per capita in the nation at one point, and overall, a crime rate 18 times higher than the rest of the country. Crime used to be worse here, 
but as you can see, lots of the really bad areas were just knocked to the ground. So there's less rundown areas in which to commit crimes these days. What was once an all-American city began its decline in the early 1970s when the middle class moved out of the area, and the resulting failed tax base meant basic city services, including police and fire departments, had trouble operating. Much of the land outside of the city remains undeveloped, bypassed by folks who chose more affluent suburban areas. What's left in city limits proper are widely scattered inner-city neighborhoods, truck stops, adult venues, liquor stores and other blighted sections of town. Number 6. Hoopston. Population, 5,210. Median home value, $58,700. Unemployment rate, 13.8%. If you've ever taken the backroads to or from Chicago, you might have passed through Hoopston on Route 1. It seems to be a relatively quiet, clean place. Here's what science says about why Hoopston needs some love. The unemployment rate is nearly 13.8%. Residents earn about $43,330 a year, and home prices are just over $58,700. Across the board, those are in the bottom 10% in the state. Not absolutely horrible, but not desirable, either. And there simply isn't anything to do in Hoopston. Don't believe me? The city's events calendar is, blank. Maybe people in Hoopston just need some friends. They don't even have a Facebook page for their city. Number 5. Dalton. Population, 21,588. Median home value, $113,600. Unemployment rate, 16.2%. For a town of just 21,588 people, Dalton has produced more than its fair share of famous people. Former NFL quarterback Donovan McNabb, prominent movie reviewer Richard Roper, and Glee star Jane Lynch all hail from the area. No wonder they left, Dalton stands as the number five least attractive location in Illinois to put down roots. Dalton sits just south of Chicago, one of a number of economically challenged suburbs in the area. Locals face a 16.2% unemployment rate and a median income of $53,047. With such a limited tax base, the education system suffers. The top school in town only grabs a 4 out of 10 on great schools. Number 4. Riverdale. Population, 10,909. Median home value, $83,000. Unemployment rate, 16.8%. Riverdale is another example of a group of rough suburbs located south of Chicago. Its 10,909 residents struggle with crushing unemployment, high crime, and an uninspiring education system. As a result, the town rate is the number four least appealing location in Illinois. The economy is the main problem in the area. The unemployment runs a frightening 16.8%. The median income comes in at $38,233. These financial limitations lead to other challenges. The crime rate hovers more than 40% above the national average, and the local schools top out at a five-tenths on great schools. Locals can find sanctuary in the outdoors, however. For such an urban location, Riverdale has a significant amount of green space, being bordered on three sides by forest preserves, including the Whistler Woods Forest Preserve to the north. Number 3. Cahokia. Population, 12,440. Median home value, $40,900. Unemployment rate, 12%. Cahokia is built on the eastern bank of the Mississippi River, across the water from St. Louis, Missouri. It was originally founded in the late 1600s. The town's Church of the Holy Family is the oldest church on the western side of the Allegheny Mountains. These days, though, the town faces tough times. In fact, it serves as the number three worst spot to live in Illinois. The 12,440 residents of the area face multiple problems. First, there's the economy. The unemployment rate hangs at 12% and the median income comes in at $30,556. Second, there's the town's crime problem. The crime rate sits 170% above the U.S. norm. Along with these, Cahokia also suffers housing and education issues. Number 2. Markham. 
Population, 11,733. Median home value, $91,900. Unemployment rate, 16.8%. Early settlers knew the area around Markham as an important crossroads. That continues to be true today, as two major highways, I-57 and I-294, intersect near town. Unfortunately, you probably wouldn't want to do much more than pass through the area. It counts as the number two worst location in the state. Markham, located just south of Chicago has problems with high unemployment, 16.8%, and low wages, median income, $43,835. Still, the 11,733 residents of Markham have significant town pride. Take the story of the lone pine tree. A German settler planted pine trees from Germany's Black Forest in town in 1860. While the last of the original pines died in the 1980s, the town has planted a replacement. The lone pine now serves as the town symbol. Number 1. Harvey. Population, 20,751. Median home value, $75,700. Unemployment rate, 13.9%. Part of a web of suburbs just south of Chicago, Harvey sits in the northeast part of the state, close to the Indiana border. The area is known for its severe problems with poverty and crime, making it one of the worst places to live in Illinois. The 20,751 residents of Harvey suffer with a 13.9% unemployment rate and a median income of $35,572. Even the city itself is poor. In 2018, the city had its revenue garnished to make sure it paid pension liabilities. Not everything in Harvey is bleak, though. Residents can head to the Kickapoo Meadows Forest Preserve on the north end of town, a spot famous for model airplane flying. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your thoughts on the worst places among the top 10 worst towns to live in Illinois in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.